guys, it's update time in Star Stable, and it's time to get excited. Yeah, that's right. It's time to dance like this pumpkin ghost. Two new Halloween horses have been added into the game this week. If you've been seeing the promo pictures of Star Stable or the spoiler accounts, you may have noticed they already showed them like in this really beautiful brewing picture. How gorgeous is this horse right here with those glowing moon eyes? And then this one over here with the horns. Doesn't this one look a little familiar? Are you thinking Vala Witch? So here we are in Gallup keep. Oh, there's one right there. Let's cross over to where the horse stable is and we can see all the Halloween horses, but right here, right in the center, we've got the brand new ones. They are so gorgeous. Look at how beautiful they are. All right, let's meet them. This one is Elvira. Look at this horse. Okay, first of all, we've got so much going on here. They added some 3D elements here. Like, look at these horns. They're like twisted and tangled. Like they are roots of trees or tree branches that are holding up this glowy moon ball. The horse has all this beautiful greenery just covered all over. Oh, and look at that tail. The tail is also like roots are just like growing right out of it. A little bit of like some greenery on its legs. And then of course, I love these like stripy primitive markings. It's one of my favorite things on a horse. And then those glowy eyes. This is a color changer. Both Halloween horses are color changers. Look at that coat. Okay, this is on the breed, the Tennessee Walker horse. I'm so happy that those markings carried on even on the normal coat, but it's got that beautiful beautiful moonlit glow to this horse. All right, let's step over to this one, the blue horse right here, which I am really excited that they made this one because it reminds me of the Vala Witch. The details are almost identical to the Vala. I love all the little metal details on the horse and of course the glowing lights on it. I wonder if this horse is gonna glow in the dark. This is gonna be really interesting to see this horse and then look at the feathery mane and tail and then the color change, whoop. Now we've got like this beautiful black with white white little speckles. It reminds me of the starry night sky, like at midnight or maybe 3 a.m. It's just a really unique coat pattern. And you would never know that this is like a witch horse in disguise. You can also get matching pets for them right over here at the ghastly critters. Here are the two new ones, one for each of the horses. Tempest says to keep this critter from kicking up a storm, just stash some treats in your saddlebag. Oh, I should have done that. I didn't bring any treats in my saddlebag. And we've got a new gnome this time. This is Finn. Finn is a resident and caretaker of marshy areas. He will gladly help you gather gross ingredients for Halloween and other magical potions. Well, that's good to know that he'll gather all the gross stuff. Yes, look at all of these horses. What did they name them? Ooh, dark gold, diamond, nebula ghost, beautiful. And wait, what did you name yours? What did you name yours? Willow Wisp. Now to go along with these beautiful, beautiful horses, they also released two new sets that I am absolutely obsessed with. Look at both of these sets. How nice are these? This reminds me absolutely of the Vala Witch. That is gonna be so perfect. So whenever we're questing and doing Vala Witch quests, you can have your outfit on too. These are absolutely stunning. So here is the Wild Witch set. And this is the Swamp Witch set inspired by Pi. And you can find them right here next to the Rocking Pumpkin, the Afterworldly attire. Just open it up and there you go. There's the whole brand new set. So the Wild Witch set. When you're dressed as a Wild Witch, you reflect the earthly elements that have sustained your long existence. I mean, I have to buy every piece because it's so beautiful. I'll just have to squeeze it into my already cramped wardrobe. And the Swamp Witch one, it says when you're dressed up as a Swamp Witch, you can jinx, charm, and cast spells like a winner. These are so perfect, especially this one because it's so earthy in nature. So you know me, I love to do a role play whenever I go and get the new horses. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Ah, uh, of course they're always missing. Moonlight is not here and witchcraft is nowhere to be seen. Wait a minute, there's a note in here. What does this say? It says talk with Sieve. Well, of course. Let's see if there's a note in Moonlight's Oh, there is. What does that say? It says go to the library. Should we start here at Silverglade Manor? They've got a bunch of books in here. Maybe this is the library they're talking about. If not, we'll have to go to Fort Maria. So what is it? There must be a clue. There has to be a clue somewhere here. Is there a book on Elvira or Audra? I don't see it. I don't see it. Hmm. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to go to Fort Maria. All right, I'm at Fort Maria. So what exactly should I be looking for in here? The note was not very specific. Here, let's read the book. Let's see, does it say anything about Elvira? Oh wait, it does. Swamps are transition areas. They are neither totally land nor totally water. It is any wonder then to find creatures there that cannot be limited to one description. Elvira comes from a dark place, yet she carries the light. She is familiar with the ways of the witch, yet she is no witch's familiar. She is independent, yet she 
longs for a human companion to share her journey. Will your eye be that which beholds her beauty? Maybe I should go down to the swamp. Maybe that's where I should go to find her. What was that? I heard something. Hello? Someone there? Beatrix, is that you? Avalon? Idris. Galloper wouldn't be in here, would he? Hello? <gasps> well, where did you come from? Hi. Well, I wasn't expecting to see you in the library. You guys, look, it's Tempest. Well, what are you doing? Are you looking for treats? Hey, wait. Where are you going? Wait. Where did it go? Where did it go? Wait. Wait. Oh, it went into the portal. All right, I better go through too. Here it goes. Hey, nice. My outfit changed. Okay, so it looks like Tempest went somewhere in here into the wild weave. But where is the question? Maybe I'll just have to run and try to catch up with it. Tempest, where did you go? <gasps> okay, I'll have to be careful. Don't hit the glowy things. Be careful, be careful, be careful. Be careful. <gasps> Wait a minute, I just saw something. Did you guys see that? Right there! I see the horse! Moonlight! I have to run back over there. Wow, I was actually expecting to find Moonlight over by Pi. But of course, it makes sense that he would be here in the Wild Weave too. Hi! Oh, hi, beauty! Oh, you're so beautiful! Guys, this horse is so dreamy. Okay, wow. I didn't even realize that. Look at the magical ball. It actually has like little tiny sparkles in it. Very, very detailed. Look at his eyes. They are so glowy. They're just as glowy as this glass ball. Let's get him brushed. Look at that gorgeous moss covering. <gasps> He's dancing. He's dancing. Yeah, he loves being brushed. Want me to do it again? Is that swampy moss really itchy? Aw, so sweet. He looks kind of hungry too. Here, let's go ahead, give him some water. He's dancing again. Yes. Okay, now we can get him to level up and maybe pick out any clumps of swampy, clumpy rocks or anything in his feet. I think whenever they put like greenery on horses, I think these are some of my favorite horses in Star Stable. This one is so beautiful. So I guess it would be absolutely perfect to put on the Swamp Witch tack. So here is his back and look at how that saddle pad completely blends in. <laughs> it's so perfect. It blends in beautifully. Same thing with the leg wraps. So there's the legs and then look at that. It adds just like an extra layer of moss onto the legs. And I mean, of course the saddle. It just looks like it's been on the horse forever. So it just started growing its own moss too. Love the rope halter. And there's the saddle bag also with a little bit of some greenery patches all over it. Huh? Hey, there you are. Do you want to ride along with us? I've got a saddle bag. Well, it keeps looking somewhere. It keeps looking over its shoulder. Oh, you probably want to go see the Vala Witch. Well, I was supposed to go and see the Vala Witch. Yep. Okay. You're running around in circles. So you must be wanting to go to see the Vala. All right, let's go. There we go. Fits beautifully in my saddlebag. Let's carry on. There it is. There's the portal. I think this would be the perfect time to see moonlight color change because we're going to need it in the dark devil's gap. There we go. That coloring is so beautiful. All right, let's go through. We made it. We're in devil's gap. All right, let's find the Vala. Carefully jump across. That storm sure is creepy. Hopefully we'll be able to take care of that vortex soon. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Moonlight's a little bit afraid. It's all right. Come on. We've got this hear the crows. Okay, he's he's definitely afraid. We gotta keep going though. The Vala should be down there. Oh, I see her. There we go. Nice and easy. You got it. Just along this. No, come on. Come on. Okay, he's he's really struggling. He does not really want to go close to the Vala. Come on. Come on. Take it easy. There we go. Nice circle. Come on. Go straight. No, he doesn't want to go forward. Okay, he's really upset. Should I just leave him here? Okay, we'll leave him here. Just stay here. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. Ugh, and there he goes. Now I'm left without a horse. All right, let's go talk with her. Hi, Steve. Stop, Stop right, right there. there. Right here, in the circle? Don, Don your, your mask. mask. Uh, okay. Ooh, nice. I got my outfit on. I have, I have something, something for you. you. Something, something deeply treasured by all of us, Vala. This is Audra, your horse from now on. Use it each time you come to Devil's Gap. Okay, you got it. Audra traveled to Yorvik with a band of sisters long, long ago. 
From them, she learned to mask herself and become one with her environment. Sensing activity in Devil's Gap, Audra slowly began to venture out in search of a new companion. To whom to navigate the chaos that is brewing on this island? Will you be the one to face the eye of the storm with Audra? Yes. Bond with her, whether she is masked or unmasked. Yes, I will. Reach out and seal the bond. Hello. Welcome. I will take care of you. So it is done. Yes. Okay, so this is the Vala's horse, or at least a horse that is inspired by the Vala and their magic. I think that this horse is done so perfectly, so beautifully. All right, let's go ahead and hop on up and just give this horse a little quick little ride. So it's on the Halflinger breed, which I think fits so beautifully because look at that waving mane that is just made of beautiful feathers. All the details are just so perfect with the horse. I just, I love, love the metal on the legs and on the antlers. Now, now, of course, to conceal this horse's identity, so not everybody in Jorvik knows that this is indeed a magical horse from the Vala. Look at that. You can absolutely have them color change into this stunning, stunning black horse with these little tiny starry dot spots all over. I will absolutely be taking this horse on adventures with me. Anytime that we have a Vala Quest adventure, I definitely want to bring this horse. All right, let's ride back to Jorvik and see how this horse looks in normal lighting so it's not so dark and eerie. And let's just follow the water and make our way back out of Devil's Gap. <gasps> there we go right into the bright sunshine. And I'm sure witchcraft will feel way more comfortable. There we go, like that. Look at how beautiful this horse is, so beautiful. All right, let's try on the Wild Witch set. Beautiful rope halter, so happy to have more rope halters. Here's the saddle, complete with a little tiny feather. This tattered saddle pad, I really like this one. I like this little tattered saddle pad. We had this for a version for Galloper too, so I'm happy to see that now there's another one. Got the leg wraps, saddle bag, and of course Tempest wants to go along for all the adventures too, I'm sure. Stunning. Now the last thing we have to find is Sven, the little gnome. It said he was a caretaker and a resident of the marshy areas. So let's go and see if we can go find him. Oh wait, let's make sure witchcraft is all taken care of. Some brushing. Yeah, look at that little dance. Some water, pick the feet. We're ready to ride. Let's search around the swamps. Finn has to be somewhere around here. Let's see, where could he be? Is he behind this tree? No. Is he under the bridge? No. By the fallen log? Where? Oh, I think I see it. He's in the water right there. Hi, what are you doing? Okay, he's just splashing around in the water. Yes, okay, so at least we got to see him. This is where he lives. He lives out in just the swampy marshes. I mean, this is one of the areas that he lives in. He could live in a lot of different areas. Here, let's see if we can see what he looks like out of the water. There we go. This is so cute. This is such a cute little pet that they actually created. I hope they make more of these gnomes. The colors are really nice, and I really love that it actually looks like he's carved out of wood, and his beard is made out of leaves. And look at when he tips over. He actually has a wood design underneath him too. So he really is, look at that. It's like he was actually made from like a cut branch. Well, should I take him back to the keep with me? At least for the day, I think he wants to. All right, come right along with us. Look at, he's running on the log. <laughs> Oh, he's so cute. He's really cute. The gnomes are so cute. Yay, I ran into a fan. Well, thanks, you guys, so much for hanging out with me in this video. Happy Halloween. Let me know if you've gotten that kitty yet. Let me ask her, did you get the cat yet from the cauldron? Yes. Oh, good. So you can do it. Get the kitty from the cauldron. Be amazing, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.